Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 minutes. In this video, we will talk about a very useful feature in ADS called Electronic Notebook for design documentation in a fraction of time what you usually spend to document all your design work into a PDF report that you can share internally or externally. To demonstrate this feature, I have a workspace where you can see I have multiple designs including schematic, layout, data display, etc. Now, if I have to take uh, open each of these designs and take snapshots to be included in my report, that's going to waste a lot of my time and it will take good amount of effort to do so. Instead, we can use electronic notebook in ADS to ease the entire process and create the desired report in a short as possible time. Let's see how to use this feature. Now, to get started, you can simply right click on your workspace name, go to new and you will get an option called notebook and here you can give notebook any name. For example, I'm going to give it demo report and then the notebook panel will open and this notebook you can also find in your workspace folder or you can go to library view under notebooks. You will have that dot in book. Now, even if you save by after adding some component, you know, some items in the list and you close it, you can always, you know, open it back to continue working. Now here, the simple panel allows you to add items which you want to print or want to include in the PDF report that you are going to generate. Now let me get started and show you how we can add items, how we can configure some of the stuff which we want. Now in this case, let's say I would like to use, you know, certain design in my library, which is more focused on an MMIC amplifier design. So I would go ahead and first open up the schematic to show you. So here is the test bench of uh, MMIC amplifier. And then you can see I also have a sub circuit design, which basically has the schematic view and also it has a layout view. Similarly, you can have multiple designs in your workspace. Now, the simple thing I can do from here is to simply drag and drop the cell or the view, whatever you need, into the notebook panel. And here you can see the schematic view is added. Now, as this is a top level design containing some sub networks, you don't need to explicitly drag and drop those sub networks onto notebook. You can simply right click on the item and you can decide to add a sub circuit and out of many sub circuits you might want to select or deselect anything which you want to get include uh, get included in the report and again the sub circuit level limit is unlimited but again you can control how many levels of hierarchy you would like to include in the report in the, my case i only have one level hierarchy so i simply click ok and now you can see I have the sub network which is also included inside the test bench or below the test bench. All right. Now, if I also need the layout, I can simply drag and drop the layout view into my notebook panel. Similarly, if I also want to include the stack up information for somebody to see, I can even drag and drop the stack up information into the notebook panel. Similarly, you can keep on uh, adding as many designs or cells or views, whatever you need. In, in my case, I would go ahead and add my laminate multi-technology assembly schematic. And again, like previously, I can add the sub circuit, which is included in that assembly. At the same time, I would also uh, go ahead and open the layout and add the layout view of my laminate assembly pretty simple right now if I need to add data display I can go to data display category here and here you can see I have a test bench complete assembly uh, with flip chip I can add it in this order and I also have data display for my MMIC amplifier and I can add that as well again to reorder things in the right context you can also drag and drop this item anywhere you want now, in many cases, your data display can contain multiple pages. By default, all pages of your data display will be included. But in case you want a specific page to be included in the report while leaving other, you can go ahead, click on this drop down and select the right page which you want to include. Now, let's say I, I had 10 pages in my data display, but I only want to include first two. 
So I can first go ahead and select the first page, again drag and drop the same data display and this time I can go ahead and select another page. So this way you can keep on adding as many pages as you want. Now once you are doing it, you can also go ahead and look at the print preview just to check how the overall appearance is. So ADS is going and taking a snapshot and now you can see I have a print preview of the report which I can generate. In this case, it's a schematic view and at the top right hand side, you can see the library name, the cell name and the view name which you are looking at. So this way there is no confusion on which design you are seeing. Again, by going here, you can see the data display page. You have the sub network or the actual MMIC design. You have the layout view, also have the stack up information, including all the substrate layer and substrate VR. So everything is included. And you can see you hardly spent any time in creating such kind of report with great ease, including all the desired information. Now, once you are happy, you can go ahead and click on print mode. And here in the print, you can either print it from your printer by unchecking the create file option. And you can direct it to your required printer or select the option to create a file, create PDF file, choose the orientation to be portrait or landscape. And let's go ahead and create a PDF file. And in this case, I'm going to give it the same name, demo underscore report dot PDF. Now ADS will go ahead and take snapshots, what were uh, you selected in the notebook and it already created a PDF file. So let's go ahead and open this PDF file. And here you can see the PDF file looks exactly the same as you saw in print preview. And how much time we spent in taking this high quality snapshot maybe a fraction of the second if you had to do it manually. So that's a great feature to use to quickly document your project work, share it with your internal teams or with external customers with great ease. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content presented and this feature will be useful for your work. Thanks for watching and look forward to see you in the next video.